When I talk about PrEP, I talk about it as being one component of HIV prevention. And when I have conversations with my patients around their sort of general prevention care, we look at the whole picture. How many sexual contacts are they having? What kind of barrier methods are they using? Are they having conversations with their partners or contacts about their testing? And really making sure that they understand that PrEP is one piece of their general prevention care. And I always want to get a sense from patients, you know, what do they know about it? What have they heard? Um, you know, what are their concerns? And so really um, helping to, you know, provide information and support them in their decision of whether to take PrEP or not. So it's really working with um, the patient to understand, you know, what's their daily routine. The other misconception that I, I hear a lot about potential side effects the vast majority of people that uh, do well and have absolutely no problems. So usually when I talk to people about PrEP and the potential side effects, um, I, I try to explain to them that you have the same potential side effects whether you're taking anti-inflammatories or you know medications that you use to treat a fever or other kinds of medications, but it's hard as a clinician because we have to fight social media and major media, which tends to get their attention uh, more persistently than we do. They're just coming in for a quick office, office visit, but you can't turn off Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and all the, uh, you know, misconstrued information that you get on that. So it's, it's tough to fight that, but that's, what, that's part of the job. You have to take your time to do that.